Katie, you're welcome back anytime. Come on in. You look festive as always. Thanks so much. Hi, Katie Linendahl, our tech Hi. expert, our technology expert is here joining us to talk about all Can sorts of, thank you, gizmos and gadgets yeah. this holiday season for, for sure. Halloween. What is this? I just kind of sold this off the stage real quick. Yeah. So. Are you not supposed to tell anybody as we're now broadcasting live? Oh, we're live? <laughs> we're live? We're live. I'll give you that. No, I, I always feel like I come down here without props, so I wanted to make it worth your while. Thank you. Yes, and I have more in my bag, but we'll get to it. Whoop, we're Just losing let it stuff go. too. Okay, so what Part do we got? Thing. Oh, Phil's right. character. <laughs> what is this? Okay, Explain let's something, the first Katie. Thing we're talking about. So we're talking about Halloween safety and how you can track your kids using little devices that are now on the marketplace. So what's awesome about something like this? This is an Amber Alert GPS system, and as I always say. You have to check your coverage area for making sure you have good satellite signal because in New York this is somewhere that doesn't pick up good reception. Mm -hmm. But this little device, you can put it on, it comes with, you can put it in a little carabiner thing or you can put it on a bracelet. And what it does is it tracks your child's location and it actually breadcrumbs it. So anywhere they are, if they're moving, you can actually know exactly where they're at. You can get email or you can get text alerts. So wow. these technologies, it's funny, you know, GPSs we're not used to, but personal tracking GPS devices that actually work Finding a good one is really difficult. There is a monthly service available with these, so you have to pay by the month. But How much? This one's like 179 for the device. But then like monthly, it's kind of a la carte, so depending on what you want, it's about like $10, $20, depending on what features you pick. Well, give us an example of some of the features. Yeah, this one's actually really cool. As you see here, there's two little buttons. This actually has two-way voice if you want it. So imagine you're a parent, you're, kid, you're dealing with a child that doesn't yet have a cell phone. You can actually communicate like a cell phone to this device, pressing the buttons. You can also press this panic button, which is nice because it'll say, hey, I'm panicking, I, ha I am at this location. So it'll let a parent know. And then of course you can get all the additional little accessories with it as well. Does a parent also have this device as well? Is it, does it come no. to, okay. So it, they yeah. just link this to their iPhone or their computer? Yeah, you can link it to your cell phone. You can link it to, um, email totally or you can check it on the web like you can check your whole history on the web which is nice and kids can talk into this yeah wow i know right i mean it's it's so light. i mean I, mean, I think like 179 so dollars is a little pricey but i think where we're going with the technologies like we're going to see a lot more personal tracking devices out there there's also ones like track stick and zoom back which are cool because you can stick them under a car the track sticks magnetic so if you have a speeding teen it'll actually record their location and tell you how fast they're going to so a lot of different you know personal tracking devices out there well this is kind of really scary for dads who want to <laughs> monitor their daughters on dates yeah <laughs> because this is a really good Just way to put do it, it in their purse they won't even know it's there Wow, there goes the ultimate punishment, huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's no getting out of it now. Exactly. For no sneaking out of the side window, right? You got it. All right, so what else do we have? This is actually okay. really, really yeah. valuable and useful. So we're talking about personal tracking uh, GPS devices. So another thing that I actually think is really undervalued, and I just have a ton of phones and also my iPad, because I want to show you the family locator plans. A lot of parents don't realize that this is a feature that is available. And what's great about family, or, uh, family mapping, family locator plans, they're like 10 bucks a month. So listen, if you already have a teen that has a cell phone, you can now track them in the same way that I'm showing you with that little device, but mm -hmm. now using your cell phone capability. So I think that's really phenomenal. And then also, you can do that with apps. I wonder if we can slide this around in the front. Yeah, I want to so. show you. So this is a perfect example of one of the apps that I have. It was like $3.99 for the iPad, and it's also, of course, compatible. And it's showing you my exact location right now. So imagine being able to do this with anyone in your family or even just your friends. I have a few friends that I have as contacts on here that also downloaded the app and I can see where they are at any time. Cool. No privacy though, huh? Throw it out the window. Yeah. <laughs> so can you show us exactly how, I mean, I'm sure it's yeah. hard to see, but just so our, right. our chat room gets a sense of. So this is cool because I can actually, so this is where I'm at right now. And you can see, like, it uses Google Maps, which we're all pretty much familiar with. You can get a street view. You can get that hybrid view that I just showed you. And then, like, for the example, I set up my friends on this. Like, I can see where she's at. Or I can go back to myself and go to map. And I'll just pull it up. I can go to street view. It's really intuitive. I mean, there's not a lot to get into. It's just pretty easy in terms of tracking. Wow, that is yeah. I like there's iLoki 2, which is a good one. That's like 99 cents to $1.99, depending on what level you buy. There's a light feature, a light and then the extended version. 
and then there's also GPS tracking, which I like. And this could be used for any cell phone as well? or This is, I think those are both specific to proprietary to the iPhone, but then there are a number of different GPS tracking devices on the Android marketplace, I believe, and yeah. And let's let's Google say, I mean, Maps how many... Latitude works very Google well. Google Latitude works well, too. Let's talk yeah. about that, because that's actually a Google, Google has like a thousand things that they do. Yeah. People don't realize Google Latitude. It's a free service. Yep. You pair it with your phone. Yep. And you can actually, it's another tracking device for anybody in your family. But, you know, can I tell you, I was like setting up Google Latitude and nobody would like test it with me. Oh, really? Everybody's they... all paranoid because of Google and privacy. And they're like, I don't want another Google feature. So I'm like, okay, so I'm like testing myself on Google Latitude. Oh, there I am. Like, it works. But it is uh, but really fantastic. I lost kids. my cell phone in a cab last week and I needed it immediately because I was going out of town and um, so I did two things I signed up for Google Latitude yeah and the other thing I did was the Sprint family locator you actually I, knew about that yes a lot of people I, don't know about those family plans those uh, locator plans well look it's perfect in New York and then City say what it does though too because it helps you find your phone that's what I'm saying I first of all I kept calling my phone yeah. and no one was picking up I, I left it in a taxi cab so I, I signed up for uh, the Sprint Family Locator, and it pulled up in one minute. My phone was only across town. It, it was, That's not bad. I was on the west side. It was on the east side. And at that moment, actually, that was when the person who had my phone answered my phone. And she's like, yeah, I'm over at uh, you know such and such. It was accurate within one block. All right. I don't want to get off track, but I have to ask you. Yeah. So this happens in New York a lot. People leave phones in cabs. Mm -hmm. Right people I, I mean, in restaurants mm -hmm. like it's like a new york thing you always right. use your phone and you hope somebody picks it up so <laughs> me and my friends have this thing going though did that person that you found your phone yeah did you give them a reward she didn't ask for one it but doesn't matter I, and she did she wasn't Dude. there personally she left it at the desk of the building dollars yeah i think 20 to, I, i've done that minimum i have done that okay deets I what just, happened? I believe in paying it did you, forward. Did you, wait, you gave them a reward or somebody yes. gave you a reward? I gave them. What'd you give them? 20 bucks. I think that's fair. And it was a girl, and I said, listen, just, she said no, and I said, at least have a drink on me. You know, yeah. the fact that you even called, she called me, and you called my mother, and I was with my mom, and it said mom sell, and I got the phone within an hour. See? I, I like you. See, I, I just feel like, first of all, I came here one morning at 3 o'clock in the morning and found a Blackberry in the, in the yeah. cab. So the one woman called, I answered, and I said, yeah, I'll meet you. I met her later that day. I gave her the BlackBerry. So I had already paid it forward. And I believe, I think that's no, payment not. enough. I, you know what? I've, oh, I have misplaced my phone no so many times. I think I've enough. given away at least $100. I think just on thank you. Okay, and it's not even like the monetary thing. It's the principle for me. And I know we're off track, and we'll get back in. But, See? like, hold on. No, I think it's like you have to say, like, thanks. Some girl ruined my day you one have time. To I found say a Blackberry thanks, in a cab. But thanks is enough. No, it's not. Dick Rathbone in the chat no, room is I want saying $20. you're encouraging cell phone theft and creating a market for people to steal your phone so that you can give them the reward. What? <laughs> what? Well, yeah. I think you have to be really, really, really creative to come up with that. It's not, that no, no, no. It's not the hardware. Like, okay, like 200 bucks for my phone, whatever. It's the data that's in my phone. No, of and course. like I mean, hopefully it's, you it's have important. your phone locked. But I'm it's saying, mm -hmm. emails, contacts, notes, forget it. <clears throat> that is worth twenty bones. Who's going to contest with me on that? What's wrong with the human heart connecting one to the no, other? No, I don't. I don't Thank care about you. the human heart. Thank you. I don't. <laughs> All right. So I'll, although Sorry. I want to talk about the human heart, I'd love to talk about some of the other really cool things you have for Halloween safety as well. <laughs> right on. Okay. So we talked about family locations. Talk about a really plans. great segue, right? Yeah. No, I'm all for that on this show. Um, we talked about family locator plans, we talked about personal GPS tracking devices, and also apps. And actually the last thing I talked about, and I had plenty more props on set, so just bear with me. Do you want me to take some of that so it doesn't fall off? Well, here you go. You can have this one. What is it? What is this? What? They've never seen that, so don't say anything. <laughs> A try me... A low budget show. Don't, don't advertise that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just lost it. You know you want, you want to come back. All right, finish talking to me about what is okay. this. 
So my last point, and we went from some very high-tech devices, but actually sometimes it's the low-tech, inexpensive devices that make a world of a difference. On Halloween, most people don't realize that there's four times more accidents caused with pedestrians because it's dark. It's actually kids are one of the running. most dangerous holidays, right? I know. We don't want to be like Debbie Downer, but I just want to like throw out that statistic for you. So go out to the dollar store, go out to Walmart, and get the flashy light-up stuff, the, the cool stuff that kids will actually wear. This is nice. Yeah, and you know what my other big one is? Go to Lowe's, the Home Depot if you have time, and uh, get some reflective tape and put it on your trick-or-treat bag. But isn't that, uh, all right, that's what? really smart, but come on, doesn't that kind of ruin the style of the trick-or-treat no, bag? I was trick-or-treating with a garbage bag. That's how, like, I looked back on that, I'm like, I was such a jerk. Like, we were going around with trash bags. Like, was that necessary, that much candy? What but, makes this flashlight different than just your dad's flashlight because is there... it was a dollar and it looks stylish oh is it just because it's Too orange story. okay all right yeah, i just no, wanted to make cool. sure that's not like your sturdy dorky light all right that's so like i'm cool. not missing anything no, here no. this doesn't do and anything it has else a, it has a you can hit it a couple different it has a flashy oh, okay, it goes orange. Cool. what else you yeah. got here this looks kind of fun yeah that's another flashlight um oh. I gave away lots of the bracelets and necklaces and then of course glow sticks which everybody loves and fun stuff and this is like a really kind of fashionable way to be seen right <laughs> Totally. <laughs> Just so Sorry. our chat room knows, Katie is laughing at Rick. We Don't. won't say what he's doing, but I've he's... T I've told my viewers Sorry. everything. I've shown I'm my viewers so everything possible. except for I have one secret. One secret. I just don't want anybody to think they're really missing something. I of have course, one secret. I will not and reveal that, that secret, but there's something going... <laughs> there's a big inside joke going on here. I started sweating because I was laughing so hard. Did this thing ever stop lighting up? I don't know, dude. You know, I just busted these out. I got these at Hearthstone, which is a really cool website for, like, kids' trinkety stuff that they'll actually wear. How oh. long will that bracelet last, Cool Jets wants to know? You know what? I, it's at least a few hours, and, and Hearthstone will have the exact details. Okay, Hearthstone. I don't want to seem like a bad techie here because this is still light-up technology we're talking about. Hmm. Now, what about, Rick and I were actually talking earlier. I know this yeah. could be way down the line. Oh, my gosh, P.S., I have something to tell you real quick. What? You remember you asked me you were carving your pumpkin, and you were asking me for tech tips? I still have the, 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 the parties today. There is an app. There is a pumpkin carving app. And I thought of you, and I was so disappointed in myself. So oh, now I got redemption. That's okay, because it's today. Yeah. All right, well, worth it. Yeah, so it's like 99 know, cents. What, what's the app? You know, I don't know the specific name, but if you, like, type in pumpkin carving in the search... There's an app for that. Oh, of course there's an app for that. Of course. Right? I love it. Anything yes. else? I know that you said you brought um, some stuff on the set. Have we kind of extinguished everything? We kind of everything? talked about oh, wait, everything. what is this? That was just another flashy another, thing. So we have a lot of light-up yeah. toys. Oh, yeah, that's a junk. This is what I was going to ask. Do we have anything down the line? This is really far-fetched, Rick and I think, but hey, you never know, that can help indicate if kids' candy is safe. Because we were talking about how our mothers oh. kind of go through all of the candy, and it was always so torturous for kids because you would look at it and think, "I just want to eat it now." Yeah, maybe there's an app for that. But no. I'm always giving I you something think, to think about. I Katie. know, and then I'll come back next week and I'll be like, "I totally have developed an idea." You know, I, I don't know. When I was little, remember you used to get like the popcorn balls, and then like mm -hmm. the weirdos would hand you all that candy that was unwrapped, and you're like, "Are you like off?" Like, give me good wrapped candy in the king size. Like, I don't want to be greedy, but that's the truth. We could never, I could never eat the unwrapped candy. That no, was that was rule. dirty. That was the rule. Well, this is really cool. Thanks for bringing Yay. all this. This will certainly promote a much safer Halloween, that's for yes, sure. I think definitely. this is really my favorite. I mean, for $179, yeah. this is really yeah. effective <clears throat> and just a fantastic tracking device. Totally. Something different, something new. And it's Are, actually a sneak peek because these aren't available until November 1st. Are we seeing these flying off the shelf, you think, in the future? What's your prediction? I think they have a, a little ways to go, personally. I think, you know, personal GPS tracking devices, unlike GPSs that we're so familiar with in our cars, are so much more developed. So I think they have a ways to go with the tech, but I think it's definitely well, somewhere it's We'll going. get there, and we'll have yeah. you back to talk more about it. Fabulous. Thank you. Take all Good of your light-up toys. Thanks. Thanks for Good being times. with us again. Good times. And come back. Will do. Let's talk Christmas Thanks, next Katie. time.